things first. I have my face cleansed and I even put a little bit of a moisturizer. Even though the Boleto comes with a moisturizer, I put a little bit of my own. I actually really like their moisturizer. It's really, really cool. It looks like a liquid and you think when you spray it on, it's going to be like... God knows what, I don't know, maybe some water on your face or whatever, but it actually is very, very moisturizing, so I really like it a lot. But basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and jump right in. First, let me say, when I received this, I was up and running in a matter of half an hour. It's really, really easy to learn. It's almost like common sense. The machine just delivers awesome results. I'm going to do a full review, but I just wanted to show you guys a few things. I know, like, initially when I think about airbrush makeup, I think about something that's really hard or at least it's going to take a, a while to master and I have not mastered this by far I can't even do the eyeshadow yet but the foundation I'm absolutely pleased with the results I can achieve really fast with the products that was sent to me from um, Boleto and I'm going to start out with my foundation color my foundation color is roasted almond my foundation color right here in roasted almond and this is F14 and when you get it you're gonna want to shake it very very well until you hear the butt the balls loosen themselves you're gonna shake it shake it just continuously shake it then I use Bon Bon in areas where I have a little bit of a darker tone I use a little bit of Bon Bon just to kind of work those together and then for my contour I use espresso which is right here and this is pretty much what they look like when you get them they have most of the product here and then there's some water so I have roasted almond here and my brush is all cleansed and it's hooked up I will have a video on how to do that and I also have a cup here with a few drops of cleaner and water so this way when I go to switch colors I won't have to you know completely clean the whole system I'm just gonna run some cleanser through blow it out and then continue what I do is I turn it on because I put it on medium which is the second setting and I'll have a video on that and basically what I'm gonna actually start with is the primer you're gonna shake it and then you're gonna apply a few drops okay so the primer is definitely one of the hardest products to get all broken up there's a lot of um, residue down at the bottom so you have to shake it really really well and also to tell you guys these are hypoallergenic non comedogenic meaning they won't clog your pores silicone free paraben free oil alcohol free cruelty free and fragrance free and they're made in the USA so I mean you really can't beat that so basically what I'm going to do here is go in and I'm going to apply one two three four drops of primer I probably don't even need that much but I really like the way this primer makes my face feel it goes in it smooths out pores and wrinkles and it smooths it out kind of fills it in and it's really really just a nice feel that it gives the face so I'm going to bring the gun at least six inches away from my face and I'm going to pull the trigger back lightly. I don't feel it coming out yet. If you listen to your machine, you'll be able to tell when product is coming out and when it's empty. So I'm just going in with small circles and moving it all over my face. The more you pull it back, the more product comes out. Can tell that I'm running low and we're done and now I'm just gonna take some light air and go in and dry my face I'm going to go in with the roasted almond foundation making sure to shake it again I'm gonna go in with about three drops and I'm going to start with my first coat of foundation now make sure when you're coming to do this area that you turn your face and don't up turn your brush now I made that mistake and spilt foundation all over my floor and almost got it on my couch so please don't do that and don't get it on your clothes or your couch or anything just make sure to keep the brush level and move your face around if you need to also I'm wearing the smock as not to get foundation on my clothes it's very pigmented foundation it's very liquidy but it's also very pigmented I'll start out with doing one half so you can see the difference As you can see, I'm building up a light coverage. And once you learn what your coverage is and how much you like, you can tell how many drops each side of your face will need and how many drops your face will need in total. I have maybe about two more drops or one more drop in here. 
and I know I need lots of coverage on my cheek area. Actually, a flawless color match. It's such a good color match that I almost can't tell and that is a brilliant feeling because my face looks a lot more clear. And now I'm just gonna go in and do the other side of my face and then continue on. Okay guys, so as you can see, my foundation looks flawless. Like, I have never seen such an even color match ever. So now what I'm doing is I'm preparing the bronzer, which is right here. And I'm just shaking it and I'm trying to get everything loosened up. Uh, there you go, you can hear it. Everything is loosened and I'm shaking these up. And I'm really excited because I'm now going to take a little bit of bronzer and just add a little bit of a highlight to certain areas of my face. And then I'm going to go in with contour and a little bit of low lighting, which is like a step above contour, but still a little bit darker than your skin. So it's not quite a highlight. And basically what I'm going to do is go in and add two, two or three drops of the bronzer. Turn the machine on. Put the mode on medium. Gonna give that a second to drop down. Now, if I were to do a lighter color, I would have definitely cleaned out the cup. But since I'm just doing a bronzer and most of the product was clean, I'm just going to go ahead. Brush moving is really important so you don't have a buildup of product because it's really hard to repair once you screw up. Just keep the brush moving and keep it going in a circular motion. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring it to the center of my face and try to get that whole center glow and then I'm going to do some more direct highlighting. As you can see, I added a a light shimmer. Added some light glow to the side of my face. Some glow to the side of my face and my cheekbones. Forehead, chin area, and then of course my neck and shoulder area. Now I'm going to go in with the color that's like one step darker than my skin tone and I'm going to add some light, um, some light contour, almost a bronzer, but just to slim my face a bit. Spray a bit, dry it, now I'm pressing nothing. Spray a bit more, dry it. Define my eye sockets. Now I'm going to go in with the deepest color, which is Espresso, and do a little bit more of a defined contour. I'm going to use two drops to start out with. Okay guys, so as you can see, I'm pretty much done. I had a little bit of a mishap over here, so I had to go in and fix it. It's a little bit harder fixing airbrush makeup when you make a mistake. So, um, yeah, that got a little bit messed up over here. I'm not really quite sure what I did. I think I should have cleaned the brush in between using the bronzer and then the contour color, but it looks pretty good. As you can see, I did my eyebrows and stuff. If you need help with that, I'll actually have a link in the bottom bar. But I used Milani Brow Tint Pen, and this one is in Dark Brown 02, and I really, really like this because it's a warm brown, so it still gives my eyebrows a little bit of life and a little bit of warmth. And now I'm going to go in and just do my blush and do my eyeliner and everything while my flat iron heats up. I'm going to start out with Milani Mai Tai on a nice little fluffy brush. I am going to apply that to my cheeks. 
Now I actually did get a blush from Boleto, but the color isn't a good match, so hopefully when I get a new tone, we can try that out again. Now I'm gonna go in with Rose Gold also from Milani. And sweep that as a light highlight. With an E60 and with Milani Brownstone, I'm going to take some on the tips of my brush and smudge that on the outer corners of my eyes. Wondering when 